tempo de prueba en Buyers y en Portugal. Let's have a small discussion and a small sharing of our point determination is key to success. According to me, according to my view and my perspective, determination is absolutely one of the key to success. In along with in addition to determination, we have to have our own ability to do to know what to do and how to do and when to do. Are you guys agree with my point or not? Yes, we all agree with you. Determination means to face difficulties. It makes us to achieve our goals. Life is never smooth. We can face ups and downs in our life. Strong determination, strong determination means trying to do something although it is very difficult. Determination is the wake up call to human to achieve this goal. Yes, Teja, I agree with you. Of course, Mansa, I agree with you too. Uh, determination is key to success. It is a very mandatory note to accept each and everyone. If anyone is gonna success in one's life, he should he or she should be very confident and willpower and having very hard working and attitude too. Your attitude determines you when you have nothing. I just want to share with you one example that Amita Bachchan. Amita Bachchan is one of the person who rejected in many many works, but now he is the one most most famous actor in the world. And one everyone, the one who uh, helps everyone, and everyone will respect and value him when his turn comes. If we have any work or any target points that we have to reach, everyone should have uh, in, uh, is equal to hard work and willpower and content and well trained mind. Well trained mind because no one is gonna do something for you. You should do first something for you. Yes, Nandani, I may strongly agree with that point. Example, in my life, I didn't get any winning percentage, even more percentage in badminton or in studies. But I am staying focusing and I am motivating myself to get win. Some other day, I will want to win. And that, that is the determination to success. That is the focusing. We have to focus our goal and we have to maintain that focus. Maintain that motivation and maintain that self self respect. There are some other some other people are throwing us and some other people are disgracing us. You are you are the loser. You don't win at all. Uh, even my friends, even my friends and my closest people also told my mother and my father are disgracing me. You don't want to go any side and any badminton side because you don't want to you don't know how to play. Even and that is the one thing is most uh, in my life. So I have to uh, have to get a determination and I have to motivate myself to get winning in the badminton in the life studies. I appreciate your determination towards your favorite sport, Abhi. But what I want to share with you is determination is not a short time. Aspect to do what in our life. Determination is the thing which is a long, long period aspect that will gives you a few success in your life. Keep it in mind, do your best. I agree with you, Nami. Victory is victory is always possible for a person who refuses to stop fighting. I know that you. You will achieve your goal for content. Determination is like a way to achieve our success. It plays a major role. The basic fundamental quality required for a person to have is determination and passion. 
If a person is determined and a person towards his goal, then he will reach his success. And Anthony stated about uh, Amitabh Bachchan, he is rejected by the person, but he did not uh, felt disappointed and he worked hard for to achieve his success. And he is known as Kippa, Kippi Amitabh. I agree with all of you and I want to share someone or something example who has not given up his work. Thomas Alva Edison. He has failed thousand times to succeed to bring for life for us. So he get means he get committed to bring for us life. So he never give up to get success in that. So commitment is only not the thing we should do hard work as well as willpower. I agree with you, see, uh, 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 when we are trying to uh, get a success or achieve something, we should have a uh, goal for that to be that uh, achieving thing. And also, we should uh, do hard work and willpower to, to that achieving thing. Uh, as you said, Thomas and Edison tried thousand times. And we failed uh, every thousand times. I was in contact with him because his determination is to uh, bring a light for us. I agree with you. I agree with all the examples. Some gave their life, life example and some gave their beautiful examples, which is the determination is the key word to success. And uh, every person should have confidence and focus on their goals to achieve it. We get so many negative comments and uh, we should refuse it or we should take it positive and we have to think uh, why uh, the negative comments are on us and we have to rebuild it and uh, by getting success uh, so many people can like uh, Nandini said example Amta Bachchan so we can tell uh, by getting success all the people will see us like a superhero or a superwoman or a something great person. So determination, hard work, focus, passion towards the goal, these are uh, mainly the keywords to success. So I think I'm, I'm writing this. Yeah, you are right, but uh, I have to add a point for you. Uh, in a determination of success, we have to have a more patience toward the, towards the success, what we are achieving or uh, what we are doing, and what we are thinking about uh, our uh, success. Everyone experiences tough times in their lives, but but it measures many failures and also they have mostly confidence on that. And in UPSC examiners, UPSC, CSC, but they try, but they want to get a high level job like that they thought and uh, in first attempt they don't want, they don't get, they fail many times and also they try, they have many other choices but they have to try for that only, but they have great determination on that. So that's why they try on that and they work hard for that and they show more determination on that. Amazing. I will draw and the determination is key to success because I because I I, I give you an example. Um, we all have, we all have dreams, but we can work on the dreams in our real life. We can we have more determination and dedication and self-development. Um, self confidence and, and mainly we can, we can have the self-motivation uh, in our life to get success. Uh, to work on the things we want to progress in in our life. So the the regulation is zero success in our work. Thomas 
Thomas Edison is the one who had bring us uh, a light. Uh, behind of his success, her mother, his mother is the one who had supported Thomas for her success. But everyone not like that. Why not some? I don't know why some parents will not encourage the children what they want to do. But uh, the, we are like once we stick on the goal which we had by our heart, no one can erase. Why not our parents do? They do not can't erase that goal. Like my parents do. But we are the one who have to prove the, to this world that what we are going to achieve and what we are had achieved in our life. Why not our parents do that we have to show show them to? I agree with your man. I agree with your point, Mandi. What uh, what my point is when you are determined means determination is nothing but a a, pro, a process or a key to make your dream come true. What's the dream? What, when you are accomplished to your dream means when you say you I want to become like an IB. That IB is a definitely determined to the determination. That IB comes when you are realize your dream and when you realize what you are. That means you have to prove to everyone that what you are and what you are able to do with your determination. I just want to tell you that guys. Make a goal, work on it, keep going on it. If you are, if you are down, if you are failed, don't worry, don't take by heart. Rise up, lift up, do motivate yourself, and try, try until you success. Wind it up. Wind it up. And what, when we are discussing about the determination is the key to success, I believe that our point is to not only determination is absolutely a key to success, not only determination is key to success, if what is key to success is what you are and what you can do and what you have what you have to do to achieve your dream and dream or accomplish your thing what you are doing now. Thus, when you are really want to accomplish your dream, be determined to it and be stick to, stick to it and never, never, never give up. It's, a, it's okay and it's all. It will be alright when, how slow you are started, it will be great when you don't stop until you are reach your goal. Thank you. A very warm afternoon everyone. As we know, today's youth is tomorrow's future. Youth play a major role in building a nation. They are not with numerous number of problems in a nation. But in order to recognize them and to take them to government, we need a voice. And youth play a role in becoming our voice. Youth. The people who are between, who are between the age 15 to 24 years are proved as youth. They are, they are mentioned as the, um, 
they are mentioned as the low, they have a key role in building the nation. Why? Because they are very competitive, they are very passionate enough, and they are very energetic and uh, competitive in the in building the society. There are also some consequences that if they are if they are not shaped properly and molded properly, there are bad effects with them. They can make a country and they can break a country. So we should take care of that. I want to talk about our predecessors. Our predecessors gave us the uh, polluted air, polluted land, and polluted society. For changing that polluted society, our youth, our youth should come. Our youth will come. Uh, our youth can can change it, can change anything. Our youth are very adaptable to it. every situation that, that that they can do anything. Yes, you are right, Gautam. Youth is very adaptive, but in order to encourage them, we need to encourage the citizens in our nation that we have to give opportunities to youth. We should let them into the future. We should let them know what are the problems around us. We should make them motivate and we should help them in every aspect to become the backbone for the nation. As we know that India, India has a lot of a youth, a lot of youth. Let us take an example, the Facebook, Facebook developer, Mark Zuckerberg. At the age of at the age of 90, 90 he, he developed he developed an app. Uh, in, in that app, uh, so many numbers are, um, are making and make, make the people awareness of some um, some important things. And so many so many things that are developing in the youth. Yes, I agree with uh, Sanjaya. It is very important. Beautiful example, Mark Zuckerberg. Now, youth is very important role plays in building nation. We can see most of countries uh, developing developing prefers more uh, energetic youth uh, for any field uh, like sports field, technical field, in you know, other fields like. I just want to add, a, add one point. It's not about how many youth we are having in our country, but it's the point that how the youth are utilizing the opportunities that they have. It makes the company, it makes the country's name and fame use. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Reshma, and uh, I want to talk about, sorry, I'm going to discuss an example where it shows the point of view of youth is also important. Because they do bad things to our point of view, but in their point of view, it's right. Because uh, we have this lapses in UK. There are two, two high hacker group which has a 16 year old and a 17 year old guy. They hack every every top tech films like Nintendo and uh, Microsoft and all. Because they are bored, because these girls are being assaulted. And uh, they want to build a better, better society than than now. Uh, but uh, in in their point of view, it may be correct because what they do is right, but the way is wrong. And uh, what I'm gonna say is nowadays you should know what what is the legal way to do things, and they must have to be mature enough to choose the right way. Yes, I completely agree with you, but uh, building of a nation all depends upon our youth. So, uh, so you, uh, youth, youth should be know what is right and what, what is wrong. So, first of all, uh, uh, youth tends to know what is wrong. So, automatically, a country will be getting developed. 
So in, if you take in India's population, 55% of India's population is only a few. And uh, if we take an uh, example of first world, world war, and Germany wins the world war, and uh, 60% of the uh, youth help to win the first world war. And uh, coming to the next example, uh, the, uh, so people who landed on the moon. So behind that success, there are so many youth who who, who, who fight for the success and help, help with the so many so many issues. Yes, Neha. Youth can play an important role in the nation. Uh, I think because we are developing the country, uh, creating our thoughts. Um, that's an example. Uh, we are all youth. Uh, last Sunday, we are all going to CSP. Uh, where to give awareness of med uh, medicinal plants. Uh, all of us are going to um, construct our nation. Like med we are using medicines. Um, we are using medicines so much. Uh, so we are you uh, plantation so we are to plantation about medicinal plants our country is growing up growing up suddenly you're stopping yes yes I, mean, I have mentioned we have went for CSP which is on medicinal plants in our in nurseries but only few people have encouraged youth is energetic and enthusiastic but they do not know what is right and what is wrong. People around us and elderly should definitely encourage youth so that they can implement their ideas. When people even listen to us what we are saying, only then we can implement what we wanted to do. And I think elderly should play a major role in encouraging youth. If you not encourage them, don't discourage them and criticize them. It plays a major role in affecting our whole nation. Yeah, that's what the, uh, our parents now do. They are discouraging us from certain things. So all we need to do is study, study and study. And where is practical work that we are doing? Yes. And uh, Yes, parents may discourage us. But we may not know what is right and what is wrong. Sometimes we tend to do some things. We tend to go for outings for a long run. It may cause some trouble to us. Parents have insight to a particular issue. We don't have it. So they will try to guide us. We have to take the inputs for them and even then if we really don't believe that it is a right kind of input, then we should keep following on. I partially agree to you guys. As youth are very poor in taking critical decisions. So taking input, inputs and guidance from elders is a good, good thing actually. But elders should not discourage the youth. We have to give them a chance in reforming our society. Yes, I agree with you. Today, youth is very inspired to our role modeling of uh, next generation. We know youth are know what is right or what is wrong. Like sit here. Yes, this is great. Thing. We have discussed what is youth. I want to give a simple definition. It's not like education. It's a model. It is youth is a simple, simply called as renew, refresh, and maintain the society. What we have that is, we have to create new things for our nation, and we have to refresh what we have and what we have to uh, implement. And maintain. Last one is maintain. We have to maintain the things what we have, and we have to uh, give it suggestions to others to to be a great persons and uh, to be a, build a great nation in the world. Actually, I agree with you. Not only we have to change change and create new things, we have to change the old things also. Our predecessors uh, kept some rules like uh, after six, we should not, uh, Mojis should not take any bodies to 
do experiments. But uh, nowadays everyone is doing that early. At that time there are no lights, no facilities at that time. That's why our predecessors said to not to do modules and experiments at that time after six. But we have lights and special equipments nowadays. You we have to we have to change for that for that kind of things. Youth, youth, youth is going to change. As uh, as Rajma said, the youth have a youth has lot of opportunities in uh, let us say in in sports, politics, and also uh, developing a new projects and new softwares. There are a lot of opportunities have in view. Uh, let us take an example. P. V. Sindhu. She she played she she played a tennis in at the at at the at the small age she was playing and she was playing and she won she won so many medals. This this like youth has a youth youth were build, youth were building a nation. Actually, I just want to add this point. We are also youth. We are so lazy that we don't go up to few, uh, we don't walk few few distance to throw our face in the dustbin. We just throw here and there. It's also a great thing. We are the change. We should be the change, and we should expect the change in the country. Without any change in ourselves, how can we expect the change in the country? The whole country is uh, in the hands of youth. The youth should be given a right chance, right opportunity with proper guidance. Further, youth also should participate actively, enthusiastically. Having laziness and procrastinating things is a great uh, is a is a great obstacle for the development of the country. We are see, we are seeing the different. We are learning from ages that India is a developing country. How many years we will learn the same word? We should change that. We should make uh, make the new textbooks with India is a developed country. For that, the only the only possibility we have ahead is youth. Yes, Reshma, as you have told earlier also, youth can build a nation and they can even destroy the nation. They should be guided properly that what is important to take the nation forward. They should know what is the difference between a right and wrong decision. They should understand what is a good way and what is a bad way of telling someone, talking to someone. They should know what is the difference between a right person and a bad person. In order to have all this, our system even have to change. And even the system change, youth is important. Youth plays a major role in every aspect. Because in order to look the government to know our problems, youth will become our voice. They will let everyone know that these are the problems around us. Only then our system can change. Only then there will be discipline in the youth. After that, by sorting out all the problems, our country will change into a noble country. Isn't it so? Yes. I agree with you, Harshita, and uh, you should not only focus on technical things and uh, what to do, means, uh, this comment service project and all. We have, we also have to focus on this caste and racism and uh, all these things because in India, the caste politics is like the worst thing we have. Yes, and uh, nowadays youth are fine because without any color discrimination, or cash discrimination, we are working with, we are working together and all. And, uh, and this youth must must be able to bring, bring a, sorry, build a nation without any discrimination in future. As you have mentioned, Siddha, the one community service project, I think it should not be a part of our curriculum, but it should be a part of our life. As uh, people in urban areas doing, we get agriculture, we can farming. That way, we should form our groups among ourselves. We should pay what we have to for the society. Only then the society returns to us.
Youth are the integral part of a country. They should be given. Let us have a proper conclusion for our discussion. We are the youth and we should be given proper guidance and we should participate enthusiastically in reforming our society. When the society reforms, the country will. Let's be the voice of youth. Be passionate, be competitive and let's make our developing India into a developed India. Thank you.